Deputy McEwan, Deputy Daly, um, when they spoke previously, said that we should leave the emotions of this debate aside. Well, Minister, as a parent who has two young children going to Dash Band 1 schools, I make no apology um, for bringing emotions into this debate. Because I feel very, very strongly that my children should have an equal opportunity to life opportunities than any other child, whether it's a Dash school or a non Dash school. Minister, this is a bizarre debate in many ways. Unlike other PMBs where we have difference of opinions, I've listened to all of the contributions from the opposition deputies, as well as um, deputies from Fianna Fáil and Technical Group. And not one deputy in this House has spoke about um, DESH having a negative impact on children's educational needs. Not one. Everyone has said that the DESH programme um, has brought um, additional educational support to children and everyone has spoke about the benefits of it and everyone has uh, welcomed it and applauded it. Yet we're in here today because you, Minister, are proposing cuts to DESH schools. Now, you may speak about legacy posts, but we're still talking about cuts to DESH Band 1 and two schools. And I have a copy of your own speech here, Minister, from last night. And you talk about a review that's going to take place in the next four weeks to um, see what kind of impact the proposals are going to have on DESH schools. Now, I would have thought that that report would have been done before you made the announcements. That would have been the logical step. But obviously, um, so much pressure has been brought on your department minister that you're now trying to roll back in it. And they welcome it. I want you to roll back in it. I want you to reverse the announcements which, which you made last December. Just in your own words, in relation to DESH and what you said last night, I have recently received three evaluation reports on DESH which indicate that it is making a measurable contribution to improving outcomes for children in schools which benefit from it. You went on to say the initial findings of one of the evaluations show that when comparing the overall average reading score in 2007 with its equivalent in 2010, it revealed an overall improvement in the average reading and maths achievement. Now, Minister, I, you don't need a report. Every deputy in here can testify to the benefits of DESH. You said, you said last night in your own speech, you went and you heard your, um, from school principals yourself. Well, if you listened to them, then you would know that any proposal to cut staffing numbers in DESH schools is going to have a negative impact. The reports are only going to tell you exactly what every single deputy in this House has told you during this debate. It's going to tell you what the evaluation reports which you have is that cutting supports to DESH schools is going to have a negative impact. And Minister, you don't need a report. The report, and let's be honest about it, the report is no more than a fudge. And I'm very, um, I suppose, when I heard the, the word report coming from the constituency that I live in, we always think that it's uh, a smokescreen. Because the last time a government minister from those benches spoke of a review, do you know what happened? We saw a hospital close on the north side of Cork City. That was the last review that this government promised the people of Cork North Central. We're going to have a review into the uh, feasibility of orthopaedic services on the north side. Is one and it's closed. And I fear that this review is no more than a fudge, a cover for Labour backbench TDs who have spoken to you privately who have spoken publicly against the cuts in DESH. And it's an opportunity for them to roll in here today and support the government amendment. And that's, it's no more than that. Because there's nobody in this House believes that what you're proposing is not going to have a negative impact on children's education. I mean, so as a parent, leaving aside the fact that I'm a public representative, as a parent of children attending deaf schools. I'm pleading with you on behalf of my children and on behalf of the children of other parents who, have, who are attending deaf schools to please do not proceed with this. Because you talk about legacy. Your legacy, Minister, will be if you 
proceed with what you're proposing. Your legacy will be to deny my children and other children equal opportunity to life's opportunities. And I ask you, Minister, please, please reverse these cuts.